I don't understand. I spoke to him only recently. Monsieur Peru has lost his mind. It's obvious. Yet another way for the French to make a spectacle of themselves. Well, once again it has worked. My friends, let us settle down, please. We are all in shock, of course. Let us praise Louis' gesture, anyway. You did what you could. Yes, it was very noble of you, Louis. It wasn't your fault. There was nothing else you could have done. I think everyone needs a little rest. Can you stay a moment? Of course. Louis, I wanted to talk to you a moment about what has happened. All this is tragic, but I wanted to thank you for doing what you could. I wasn't able to save him. You couldn't, Louis. You mustn't blame yourself. It is not your fault. I could have anticipated this. I, I spoke to him the day before, and I should have seen he was in, well, in a bad way. Hmm. But I'm guessing he refused your help. I... Uh, uh, yes. You see, you can't save someone who doesn't want to be saved. We talked. I, I should have taken it a little more seriously. What about? He told me he had the same feelings of remorse as those he mentioned before. His act. And he warned me against you and your influence. Against me? Why is that? I did everything within my power to promote him. I helped him, funded him, supported him. I always believed in him. He blames you for leading him in a direction he now regrets. Blaming me for that is to duck his own responsibility. What you tell me is terribly unjust, Louis. He was not a child. Did he say I forced him? No. What a waste. What are your plans now? What do you mean? For the conference. After the disappearances of both Elizabeth Adams and my mother, and now the death of Mr. Perlou, I should imagine that your guests are all packing their bags. This might come as a bit of a shock to you, perhaps because it was so difficult to bring all these figures together, but I am convinced that none of them is preparing to leave. Are you serious? They are all very experienced politicians, and though they are, of course, affected by the situation, they know full well that such an opportunity will not come again for a long, long time, if ever. They each represent their nation, and know full well that what is at stake here is far greater than the death of poor Monsieur Peru. You'll see. I am confident that they will all be ready to resume the conference. If you say so, allow me to take my leave, please. Of course. You ought to get some rest. Oh, Louis! Uh, one more thing, please. What a pity you didn't support me during the conference. I hope I can count on you on the day of the vote. This major project needs men like you, Louis. And you never know, right? Maybe by then, I'll see things differently. Well, thank you for allowing me to believe in that possibility, Louis. From here on, I shall make it my mission to persuade you to change your vote. Be my guest. But I hope your arguments are very, very persuasive, because I'm not the only one who isn't on your side. Oh, rest assured. I am working on it. Very well, then. I'll see you later, my lord.
Next time, I'll listen to my mother. Not a day has gone by without something happening to me. What now? Louis, open up, please. Coming, Mr. President, I'm coming. Louis, ah, oh, there you are at last. Yes, I... I just saw your mother. She was accompanied by Emily, and they both went into the Duchess's room. I tried to join them, but I was refused entry. Louis, this does not bode well. Oh, shit. Emily might want to avenge your sister. I must act quickly. You're right, Mr. President. Thank you. Congratulations, Monsieur de Richet. You made the right decision at the conference. What can I do for you? Do you have any news regarding your search for the Al-Azif? Ah, good. You are straight to the point this time. I appreciate that. I shall allow myself to reply only because we are now on the same side. But keep it to yourself. My search is over. <laughs> we have it. Congratulations. You, you were quicker than me. Oh, don't blame yourself. You had no chance of getting the better of Sir Gregory. Well, at least I tried. So, tell me, where did you find it? Would you believe that your mother gave it to Emily's twin sister before we arrived on the island? Apparently, she asked her to hide it, and once she had done so, your mother intended to kill her. But Emma, Emily's sister, survived. So Gregory realized this and hid her in his apartment to tend to her, uh, without anyone knowing. When she came around, Emma rallied to Sir Gregory and told him where the Al-Azif was. And uh, <laughs> that was it. That's uh, one good thing, uh, done and dusted. <laughs> Is anything wrong? Oh, well, uh, if I were you, Louis, I would be careful. Emma is still alive, and when your mother turns up, I wouldn't be surprised if she considers she has a score to settle with her. You're right. It's quite probable. I think that Sir Gregory will do all he can to calm the situation down, but there's no guaranteeing that she won't find a way of taking her revenge on your mother. However, keep it to yourself. Hmm? Hmm? We never spoke to each other. Thank you for this information, sir. Oh, don't mention it, Louis. It's natural we are playing on the same side now. <laughs> you can always count on me. On that note, I don't want to take up any more of your time. Oh, not at all, Louis. Come back whenever you want. I'll see you later.
sur Jacques Perru. I am sorry, sir, but you are unable to access Monsieur Perru's room while we gather his personal effects. Seems like the key is still in the lock on the other side. That means I won't be able to pick it. Or I could do as I did the last time in the tower room. I wonder if I can get the key by pushing something underneath and making it fall. Inside Emily's room. Shit! It's locked. Honey, I couldn't have hoped for better. Dear son. A map? This should do the trick. Perfect! This card should do the trick. and slow. I must act fast. as if there are several people inside. Once again, you're the one who's the victim in all this. What are you on about now? What on earth is... You... Mother? How dare you do this to me? You can talk. After everything I've done for you. You are joking, I hope. Right? I gave you my life. That's enough, Emma. Now that Louis is here, you will leave Sarah alone. Cease your revenge immediately. What? What? If you think you're going to... Louis, help me, I beg you. I can no longer reason with her. I am Emily. Quit playing games. I... What? Honestly, don't be ridiculous. No. I am Emily. You are wasting your time. Louis knows very well how to tell us apart. After everything we've been through together. Yes, well... Don't you dare bring him into this. This is between you and me. I ask for nothing more, so stop taking it out on Sarah. I... 
You prissy little bitch! How dare you! Now that I've told you everything, you want to take my place, do you? You are joking, I hope. I'm the one who told you everything that's been going on while you were away. Go on, then. That's what you want, isn't it? You want to kill me? Go on, then! Shoot! After all the trouble I've gone through to find you. Go on. What are you waiting for? Here, Louis, take this. Wait! What's going- An entire life for this. Go on, shoot. Sorry, Louis, I, I can't shoot her. She's my sister. I... That's enough, Emma. Louis, out of the way. She's dangerous. Don't trust her. What are you trying to do? Louis, out of the way. I am not Emma. Come on, Louis, tell her who the real Emily is. Wait, I- That's right, Louis. I'm fed up with this little game. Tell him who the real Emily is. Why do these things always happen to me? Well, Louis, come on, you know how to tell us apart, right? Yes, yes, but I'd like to ask you a few questions to make sure there's no doubt. Rational and open, Louis. Let's see. How can I tell them apart? Wait, I've got an idea. On the night of our arrival... On the wharf, something happened to me. What was it? A malaise. The moment you arrived, you felt ill, and I offered to help while Piaggi went up. And you turned me down flat. Right. Let's find something else. Ah, yes. Let's speak about my arrival at the manor. On the night of our arrival, we were warming ourselves in front of the fire. Mormor welcomed us in a very odd way. What happened? It won't work, Louis. It wasn't Mortimer who welcomed us. It was Sir Gregory. Sorry, Louis. I already told her. Very well. Let's try something else. On the first night, we went up to bed. But I wasn't tired. I went for a little stroll. Do you remember if we saw each other that night or not? No, not after going up to bed. That doesn't prove a thing. I was the one who told you that. Don't think you're going to get away with this deception so easily. I can assure you, you're going to regret pretending to be me once Louis has exposed you. Right. I don't think I'll get very far like this. I'll have to find something better. Oh, I don't think I'll even wait until he's finished. Take it easy now. Are you mad, Louis? Lower your arm. Oh, I better act quickly if I don't want things to get out of hand. Come on, she's putting one over on you. Look at yourself for crying out loud. You were prepared to shoot me down. In the secret room behind the study. Talk to them about what you've been doing. Maybe they haven't spoken about it between each other yet. On the night of the disappearance of Elizabeth Adams. What about it? What do you want to know about that night? We found ourselves in Mortimer's secret gallery. What did we find in that room? A load of old junk that Mortimer had collected. A so-called Pandora's box in the form of an urn. An old sheepskin that he must take for the Golden Fleece. The Bible of Judas. Property deeds as old as the hills. And a broken old sword. You are wasting your time, Louis. She already knows all that. Of course I do. I was there. That's enough! I've had enough of this charade. Louis, there's only one way to tell us apart. There's just one thing I didn't tell her about in detail. Too bad for you, Emma. 
I didn't want it to come to this, but you leave me no choice. Ask her about you and I. You just lost Emma. I indeed didn't tell you everything about it. Come, Louis. Speak about our intimacy. Very well. Let's talk about us. When you came to my room last night, what did we talk about? I beg your pardon, but I didn't go into your room last night. There you are. The mask is off. What do you mean? Sorry, Emma. I didn't tell you everything. She's right. You little bitch. She is manipulating you, Louis. That's enough, both of you. Now I know who the real Emily is. I knew you wouldn't get it wrong, Louis. No! You little bitch! Watch out, Louis! No! Hell, what have I done? See what you've done. See. Louis? What on earth is going- Mother! Go! You must leave. Everyone's going to arrive. Louis, what's going on? Duchess? Is everything all right? Go! Go, Mother! No one must find you here. Go! Come, Louis! There's nothing more you can do! But I... Leave us. Emily, what's going on? Mother, go to the crypt. I'll meet you there. I'll be waiting for you. Emily. Madam, I'm coming in! It was bound to end like this, Louis. Let me stay with her, please. Go, I'll cover you. God, they're all here. They must have heard the gunshot. Where is Lord Mortimer? Can anyone hear anything through the door? Did you hear that? I was not dreaming, was I? Certainly not, Duke Godoy. What's going on? Someone had the bang coming from the Duchess's room. She isn't answering. Gentlemen, go back to your rooms. Go back to your rooms. Rooms! I shall find out from Lord Mortimer what this is all about. Thank you.
Louis! At last, there you are. Mother, wait, I... Come, we have to be quick. No, wait, Mother, Time I... Time is running out, Louis. First, we must... No! That's enough. I won't go a step further unless you explain to me what is going on here. I'm begging you. Talk to me. You must trust me, my son. You are not ready yet. You are the one who should trust me. Tell me what's happening. You would never believe me. I came all the way here for you. Now I've found you. I'm ready, Mother. If only... Louis, I have always taught you to keep your mind open and rational. I know you are going to find this hard to believe, but what I am going to reveal to you is entirely true. Many years ago, I found out that demons really do live among us. I beg your pardon? And that they can influence our thoughts. Mother, listen to yourself. I know you're exhausted, but for crying out loud, listen to what you're saying. Demons? <laughs> what next? An ancient monster with a head like an octopus? What do your demons look like? Have they had horns and a pointed tail? No, these are not creatures with billy goat's legs. Forget your Christian folklore. Imagine them more as parasitic spirits. They possess their hosts and direct them from inside. Parasitic spirits? Yes, they are capable of going from one body to another as they see fit. And two of them are present on this island. Right, so let me guess. Lord Mortimer and Sir Gregory, right? You felt it too? No, even if home does look the part. But I don't know who else could do it, given that we're on their territory. Many years ago, well before you were born, I crossed paths with one of them. Since then, I've spent my life trying to find it again. When we recovered the Alizif, I was persuaded that Von Burchard was working for this demon in one way or another. But I thought he would hand the book to a middleman during this conference. That's where I made an error, an error that could well turn out to be fatal. The one who Burchard was meant to give the book to was none other than the demon in person, Mortimer. Not to mention that Holm had sent Volner to get it for him. Holm and Mortimer are demons? They both seem to disagree about many things, but I'll admit I never knew exactly why. There are many of them, Louis, not just those two. Mother, have you any proof to support any of this? Of course, but you do too. You had everything laid out in front of you. Didn't you notice anything? I came across his family tree in his study. An only son. Since the Third Crusade. The fall of St. John of Acre, Louis. The fall of St. John of Acre. I went beyond the Nightmare Mother. You understood the Masonic date. 1191. Of course! It was during that siege that the demon took possession of Sir Mortimer. They spent a whole night in conversation until the early hours of the morning. Mortimer had passed the test. He had charmed the demon, and so it chose him to be its host for centuries to come. But tell me... Did you find his secret study? I did indeed. Did you see his maps of the world? He has contacts the world over. Yes, I've been developing the Golden Order across the world for many years, and I've never seen anyone with such influence. It's simply inhuman. Well, those property deeds across the world, all signed by the same hand, in over several centuries. I am proud of you, Louis. I found your notes, written in lemon juice. Where all eyes size you up. At one stage, I was so afraid of losing my mind that I noted everything down. Congratulations, Louis. Wait, please tell me you didn't open Pandora's box. The urn? No, I didn't. Why? Good. We'll deal with it later. 
I must admit, I found it difficult to understand how and why Mortimer didn't have a place in history. On the continent, Mortimer and Holm are mere dandies who organize society balls. History forgets them with a disconcerting facility. No one speaks about them, and yet they whisper in the ears of kings and presidents. Louis, I am proud of you. You came all this way, you found me, you have surpassed me. You taught me everything I know. Right. How did it all begin? I saw him! Wh what do you mean, you saw him? I was 20 years old. I was young and carefree. I traveled the world in search of adventure. In the Persian Gulf, we came across an ancient grimoire that became unlocked. Composed of seven parts, each one was a book in itself, set in a sort of metal armor that structured the whole thing. When all the volumes were brought together, they formed a single book. On my return to Paris, I set to studying these pages. I spent all my days and nights studying them. Oh, I can imagine you doing that. But the writing was in a language I had never seen before. Developed well before Sumerian, in my opinion. So I got the idea to form a small occult circle composed of all the major names in the occult world to see if anyone else could crack it. And you found no one. And I found someone, Louis. I found him. Or rather, he found me. He was young, charismatic, he was flamboyant. Wait a minute, who are you talking about? Von Borchard? No, no, Mortimer, of course. He was a veritable mine of knowledge. I showed him the book, and he was able to decipher a few passages. We spent several months together studying the pages. He helped me understand certain passages until I realized that he only translated a few parts for me. But I had aroused his interest. It was too late. How so? I mean to say he manipulated me. He used me and in the end he stole the book with all its secrets. Did he ever go to your place? Not once. At least I don't think so. But before disappearing he proposed a pact between us. He proposed that I follow him and let him teach me, allow him to bring me up. And you accepted. Please don't be stupid. You don't make deals with the devil. After that, I spent my whole life looking for him. Three years later, in Berlin, I just missed him. In London, I lost six members of the order in a chase. In 1741, in Tunisia, I found a sect of fanatics who had crossed paths with him once. 1741, in Poland. 1749, in India. Eight years ago, in Venice. We agreed never to speak about what happened in Venice, Louis. You agreed, and that was before you spoke to me about demons. Wait, the baby we delivered, you and me, that night in Venice, did he have anything to do with Lord Mortimer? The child was his son. We stole his son? Are you insane? I always thought we took him to save him. That was the case. It was precisely to save him from his father. Need I remind you the mother died during childbirth? What became of the child? Later. For the moment, that is not the key issue here. Once we found the Alizif in Paris, I followed Von Borchardt's trail here. I didn't think it would lead me straight to the demon. It was careless of me. He toyed with me for a few days, until I caught on, until I saw him as he was. But he had no intention of letting me leave. We are all his pawns, Louis, and if we don't want to spend the rest of our lives turning round in circles here, we must absolutely get off this island. All right, can we move on? Wait a minute, one last thing. I want to know what happened with Elizabeth Adams. Louis, we haven't time for those details. I'm sorry, Mother, but I want to know. She was one of the receptacles for these monsters. 
I met her parents when she was born. One of the demons got inside her. The demon used her to spy on her father, John Adams. He is one of the founding fathers and vice president of the United States, you know. Mortimer possessed her? No, I don't think it was Mortimer. Her father, John Adams, hired me to tend to her, but the evil in her was too deep. In spite of the various treatments I tried on her, I never succeeded in getting it out of her. It's not something I'm proud of, Louis, but I had to try everything. Do you know who killed her? Absolutely not. What did you negotiate about the Alazif with Volner? Absolutely nothing. I managed to pull the wool over his eyes until I found a way to flee. I want to know what happened between you and Emily's sister. Great responsibility often brings difficult choices, Louis. That's all you need to know. All right, but you're not getting away with it so lightly. Once we get back to Paris, be sure I won't be letting it go. We'll see in Paris then. What was going on with the cannons in Tuscany? It was nothing. Since when does the order finance wars? The cannons for that Bonaparte fellow? Listen, once in the lion's den, I did whatever I could to appear legitimate. So yes, I pretended to be interested in Mortimer's project about a young military man who was seeking funding for a foundry in Tuscany. Between you and me, if buying China would have enabled me to escape, I would have signed without hesitation. Samuel Ritter Duchois, you wanted to send me a letter about Godoy. I wanted you to run a check on Duke Manuel. But frankly, it doesn't really matter anymore now. Godoy is just a pawn like the others. He is not the one I was looking for. On the evening of my arrival, Cardinal Piaggi came looking for you. He was determined to give you a letter. More of his lists. Louis, I think I know what's in that letter, and I beseech you to believe that it is the least of our worries. We can sort that out later. You know, I found your package under a wharf plank. As a matter of fact, I needed it yesterday. I wasn't expecting anyone to take it. Are you going to tell me what happened to your hand? Better than that, I shall show you. Good. I think that's about right. We shall speak about it once we get back to France. Great actions for humanity have been decided by demons for centuries, Louis. They are playing with our destiny. We are their slaves. And it's time for it to stop. By the way, what was Mortimer's project at this conference? He demands that the Spanish hand over Louisiana to France. Oh, knowing him, it won't stop there. We should do our utmost to put a stop to Mortimer's plans. But for the time being, there are more pressing matters. Are you going to tell me why we're here? There. That's why we are here. Thank you.